I want to talk about Fibonacci retracements today. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself on this particular stock. This is a chart of BAC, Bank of America. And what I'm seeing here is, of course, it pushed up to this two ATR band. I got RSI right at 70. And I've got a candle here forming, especially if it finishes down in this area, that I would consider to be a shooting star. So it looks like there's a good opportunity tomorrow for a short if it breaks below this line here. But I want to determine kind of where my targets might be and what they might look like. I'm going to use Fibonacci to do that. I do not use Fibonacci a lot in my trading, but I wanted to introduce you to it and let you see how it could be used and how you may want to use it in your trading. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the Fibonacci uh, retracement line. I'm going to pick the, the uh, closest swing low, and I'm going to go ahead and consider this a swing high, even though this candle has not closed, because I'm looking at a trade for tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up in just a second. Right now, I've got it set to only show the 127, so I'm going to go ahead and edit that, edit properties, and I'm going to ask it to show the 78, the 61, uh, retracements. Those are the ones I use the most, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just use those. So now you can see that it has drawn these on the chart for me. I'm going to zoom in where you can see it a little better. So if tomorrow, if uh, this candle closes in this bottom half here, then I would put a uh, sell stop right here to go short this stop. And my first target using Fibonacci levels would be at the 61.8 and the second target at the 78.6. But if you notice, this fits perfectly into my wave indicator. That would also be my target on the wave indicator. So you, know, you can see how well the wave indicator works on its own. And then you can use the Fibonacci lines in order to uh, help you confirm what you think you're seeing. Let's take a look at it on another one of our charts. This is the Bollinger Band chart. And what you see here, you've got a break above the 2 ATR. And almost you know pushing this 3 ATR on the 52 week high and again if you had shorted here you know my first target would be normally be below the 1 ATR band but with this much contraction you're not, not going to be able to do that as, as this begins to contract in so you've got to find a secondary target my secondary target would be this main line and guess what it's just right right above the 68 61.8 percent retracement and, and that gives you an idea of how well that the Fibonacci retracements can work in helping you confirm targets and either stops or profit targets and help you get an idea of what you're trading. Let's look at a couple of more. This is a chart of the ES today, the E-mini S&P 500. I'm going to zoom in on a little bit more here. You can see I've got a lot going on on this chart. I've got some trend lines down here. Uh, it does appear that this is going to be a swing high just on how strong this candle is looking to the downside. So I'm going to go ahead, really I'm going to pick either one of these. They're about the same on the swing low. And I'm going to draw, let me pick my Fibonacci. I had it picked on a circle. I'm going to draw a Fibonacci level here. i uh, going to go ahead and edit that and turn on the other levels I want to see. And you can see right now it has already hit the 61% retracement. So what that tells me is this. I am not in a place where I can, where I would want to go short the ES. I've already hit the 61.8% retracement. I'm headed toward the main and the 78%. But what this does tell me is that these are could be valid zones to go long. Uh, you know, we've got a, we've got a full retracement close to the 78.6, which is a typical uh, zone where it would come up and, and go down and bounce off of. We're also bouncing off this mean right here. Now this is a pretty substantial red candle, so I would not want to go long tomorrow. But it does tell you that if, if we get a, an inside candle tomorrow, that we may have hit the bottom of this move down. And I say may, because when you see a strong red candle like this, or even like this one, you know it's hard to say that there won't be another one. You've got to see some sort of consolidation after that. You've got some consolidation here on this one, but you really never got an indication it was going along again. So I can't go short now because I've already hit my Fib levels. I've also hit my main on my Bollinger. Now let's take a look at the other chart. Now this is the wave chart. You know, I have already hit the top of my wave. 
I'm in an uptrend, so this is typically an area where I'm saying I'm looking for a long opportunity. You know, yeah, we had long opportunities back in here. Uh, we really didn't, on the wave, this was close, but we really didn't have a good long opportunity in the wave uh, before. Uh, another thing we noticed is our RSI has dropped off substantially, which is good if we're thinking about this turning back to a long. But as I look for a long here, you know, I've got, I've already hit the 61, 8, I'm close to the 78, I've hit my wave, I've got 127 here that's just above this trend line, and I've got my 50 simple, I'm sorry, my, my two uh, deviation Keltner down here, which is really not that important on this particular trade. The wave is more important. We'll look at the uh, moving average indicators and get a better idea. You know, we're, again, you know, if we look back at previous price section, this 10 EMA has held and it's bounced. We're well below it right now. So if, I, if, if during the course of the day today, this moves back up into this area, then I might look for a long tomorrow based on this chart. Otherwise, I'm going to be looking at this 20 EMA to see if it holds. But again, notice where the 61 and 78 are on the Fibonacci retracement. And that's really what I want to point out in this video is the value of letting you know that you've probably missed this down move if you're trading it from a uh, swing high you know there's a good possibility you may have missed it i wouldn't enter short here uh to, i'm not and i can't tell you to enter long just yet because you, know, you could get more down action after you get a bar like this if it finishes down here today but but you do see the value of the fibonacci retracements even as they're being used within my indicators let's take a look at another one now this is a chart on rig and i'm going to run this one now, i'm, I'm going to run it I'm not going to run it as an uptrend right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this downtrend here. Let's go ahead and turn these back on. Might as well go ahead and uh, save as defaults. So I'll quit having to do that. And we're going to zoom in and see what we've got going on here. Now, I believe rig is overall is, is in a downtrend. So what I want to see is I had this swing high came down to this swing low, and then I got a retracement up to the 61.8. I also got to move back through my wave. What I believe I'm seeing here, based on the bounce off the 61.8, and the fact that I'm in the wave right now, is a move back to the downside in rig. And if I were to be placing a trade in, in rig using my wave and using the Fibonacci retracements, you know, I would... I would be looking for a short probably somewhere below either here or here, or I would just go ahead and buy puts and, and have a stop up here for my puts, or maybe right here for my puts. Uh, you could be a little more uh, conservative and put a stop up here, but again, there's a lot of risk in that because you got more of an upside move. Uh, and, and I'm using puts as an example. Rig is not a very high price stock, so you'd really just buy and sell the stock. Uh, but in a, in a normal stock, you know, puts would be a good, I think this would be a good opportunity to buy puts. Let's look and see what it looks like on the Bollinger Bands. And again, you see here, we got the move down. We came right up to the mean, and it bounced off this 61.8 right at the mean. And again, the importance here is we're seeing how my indicators work with the Bollin, with their Fibonacci retracements in order to give you good targets and to show you areas where the the counter trend move may have lost steam. Now, if we're looking for how far it could potentially go down, we could run another fib level from here to this swing high. And this is going to tell us that our target is just below this one ATR here, and then two ATR here, and then if we get a full move down at the 127. Now, my initial target based on my indicators will be just below this one ATR and then approaching the two. So you can see how the Fibonacci levels work very, very well with the indicators that I use in my swing trading. Let's pull it up on the uh, a wave chart. And again, you can see that it will have broken down through the wave, but has not hit this 2 ATR Keltner yet. Uh, as this moves up, the 61.8 may be right at that Keltner. And this one's a little bit further down, and this is for an overall move down that you probably use a trailing stop to get to. We'll look at it you know, one more time. We'll take a look at it with our moving averages. And really what they're telling me is you know, I've got a 50-day move, simple moving down and a 200 moving down, which is one, one reason I told you I really felt that this was a down move. You know, We've got a lower high here than we had back here. 
and I just think that the overall the trend here is down and it's right at that daily trend line if you wanted to use a daily trend line through here. Now, I don't typically use daily trend lines, so I'm not going to draw it on there. But, you know, every indication here based on the field levels, based on the trend, is where we're going to get a move down here and our target is in this area because we've already hit our up target or at least one potential up target. And that is how I use you know, Fibonacci in my trading uh, from a swing trading standpoint. You know, you're not going to see me draw them a lot just because my indicators work, work very well even without them. But you can draw them on there to give you some confirmation and give you a little extra uh, confidence in what, what you're seeing on the screen until you get more comfortable with the indicators th themselves. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel. And uh, just let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thanks.